Dire team ban. Radiant team ban. <coughs> Dire team ban. My mic was off. Lol. Greetings, salutations, hello, and welcome back to game two between Elite Arabs and 4Love.int in the Amateur Dota 2 League's European Premier League. It's going to be a best of three series between these two teams. First game went to Elite Arabs. It was a relatively convincing match. They really brought an aggressive Slardar Dazzle Ancient Apparition Trilane that worked the Viper carry for 4Love.int. It was relatively brutal, <laughs> to be honest. It was pretty ugly, so... Um, we will have to see if they're able to make anything happen in this game, too. So the first bans for 4Love.int are indicative of the last game, just how badly things went for them. The first two bans are Ancient Apparition and Dazzle, so Elite Arabs are going to have to find a whole new set of supports. Uh, meanwhile, for Elite Arabs, it's it's uh, status quo antebellum, so to speak. They have banned out the same two heroes, I think. Or perhaps they banned out Doom last game. No, no, 4 love doesn't ban Doom. Or did they? Well, they've switched sides, so yeah. Elite Arabs banned out um, Invoker and Doom last game, I believe. But Ember Spirit, again, going to be a first round ban, so that hero continues to impress in terms of teams being afraid of him and wanting to use him. Uh, but Nyx Assassin will be the first pick. I really, th I really like Nyx. I think he's fantastic. People have sort of realized that once you get the Blank Dagger on Nyx, he's very, very strong. Radiant team pick. So Elite Arabs will go for a Visage pick up here. We'll see if they go for a Marana. Oh gosh, it's going to be another Slardar game. Whoa, what is going on here? So Dazzle, Slardar, and an Ancient Apparition work very, very well together as we saw last game. Uh, particularly Dazzle and Slardar. It's a very strong lane. Gives you a lot of dive ability and mobility early on in the game between Sprint and gra uh, Shallow Grave. So we will see if Elite Arrows can come up with another combination to make Slardar work. But man, last game, I have to say, always want to suck. Slardar remaining. was so good. I mean, that was... I mean, some of the best Slardar I've seen in a very, very long time. I mean, I, I hazard to say it was like the best Slardar I've ever seen played. <laughs> And it's certainly the best slaughter I've ever casted. So if that's... I don't think that means much, but... Hopefully it means something. We'll see what 4 Love that I want to do here for their second pick, though. It's going to be a Storm Spirit immediately. So very early in the draft for them to pick that. Uh, perhaps hoping that they'll go up against... Uh, that OD again, but for Love Dead will ban out that Bristleback. Evidently that gave them a lot of problems last game. I don't think the Bristleback was the reason they lost that game. I think they've already banned out the reason why they lost that game. Or perhaps even neglected to do so because they let Slardar through, but the Tri-Lane was really what killed him that game. I mean, Slardar was so farmed so fast. He had... Um, I mean, he had Treads, Blink at like 12 minutes, and he had Treads, Blink, Vanguard at like 13. It was like absurd. I'll see who the Arabs want to ban out here. Let's see, who would make sense for them to ban? Hmm. Storm Spirit and Nyx both work decently with, with a lot of heroes, so there's nothing super telling about the picks that they've already made. Gonna go ahead and ban the Lifestealer. You know, pretty standard ban for them. Um, Lifestealer is actually quite good against Slardar. Open Wounds really debilitates that hero a lot. It's going to be a Doom ban for 4 Love. and we'll see if they want to try and Slark here. They would probably have to... Well, I guess they... Yeah. I was going to say they would probably have to safe lane that Slark, but Nyx can be played as a support or an offlaner, of course, so they could offlane that Slark. Ten seconds remaining. Slark would actually probably be a decent pick against a uh, Slardar lineup, remaining. just because you want to have that pounce. I think Marana in the offlane would actually be decent as well, although Marana doesn't have quite the durability that a Slark will have. 
and can't, obviously can't remove Grave Chill. So I think Slark's a very good pick for 4Love.int. I'm a little bit surprised to see Elite Arabs ban that Venomancer and not the Slark there. Perhaps they're trying to pick Slark for themselves and do like a fish lineup with Slardar, Naga, Slark, all that kind of stuff. Although if they are doing a themed lineup, that's pretty bad mannered, but, you know, all it's just a thought. It's just a thought, guys. We'll see what they decide to go with here, though. Ten seconds. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Really taking their time with this one. Disruptor. It's going to be the Disruptor, so... Down Disruptor is a hero I really, really like. Um, very, very strong hero. Decently high skill cap as well. Glimpse is not the easiest skill to use. It's sort of, um, it requires a lot of awareness. A lot like, um, when you play a Weaver and you can time lapse to gain a positional advantage, that's sort of the mark of a high level Weaver player. And that's something you have to do all the time with Disruptor. Like, instead of, when you play Weaver and you time lapse just for HP, that's not very hard, obviously. But when you time lapse to jump back to a different location to get another kill and stay alive that way, um, that's very good. And that's pretty much the way Glimpse works all the time, because you have to always keep track of where heroes are, where they're moving from and to. And then, of course, Disruptor's ultimate is just a uh, its a nightmare to deal with if you get caught in Static Storm in conjunction with Kinetic Field. It can it can wipe your whole team so fast. And 4Love.in are going to go for the Crystal Maiden here, and ooh, I'm worried about that. I'm a little worried about that. Crystal Maiden, just going to be around for that aura, unfortunately, and I believe that she will be uh, food for the Slardar. And Elite Arab's going to go for this Templar Assassin here. I think that that's a very nice pickup against the Storm Spirit. TA is not the easiest hero to kill. Um, it contributes a lot to your team. I think that, that just the meld damage and the minus armor is very good. And they will also have the Slaughter on their team for Amplify Damage. And Visage could even go for a Medallion of Courage. So if you get Meld Struck, Amplify Damage, and a Medallion, uh, you're looking at what? Like minus 5, 7, 5? Is that what that is? Remaining. Oh gosh, 5, 7, 8. So you're looking at not having much armor at all. And if that hits a Crystal Maiden, she will just explode. So the Viper's going to be the choice again for 4Love.int. They will try and make that happen. I think Viper's a good pick. But I feel like they did not have the supports that they needed to stop the Dazzle AA Slaughter last game. This game, I think they have a decently good shot. If they... Yeah, I think they have a decent shot here. Although Elite Arabs could sort of turn things on their head and safe land that Slaughter. But I feel like Aggressive Trolling is the best for him. But we'll see what happens. Timbersaw is going to be the fifth man for elite Arabs. Timbersaw is a very, very strong offlane hero, of course. Although I don't think he would have been the best choice here. With the Templar Assassin and the Disruptor. I don't know. And Slaughter isn't so bad against Timbersaw. Five seconds remaining. So I feel like they shouldn't have been so afraid of Timbersaw. We'll see if 4Love.int want to offlane that Nyx or if they want to safe lane the Nyx. And Elite Arabs, of course, are still looking for their offlaning hero. So we'll see if they go with a Weaver or something of that nature. I feel like Weaver would be a strong pick here, but I think Weaver's a good hero all around. And we'll see if we're going to ban Please out that offlaning puck. So that's a strategy I was not, I have to say, I was not expecting. Um, but Elite Arabs could run an offlane puck. You never know. Offlane puck is quite good. It's finicky, but it's good. It's a good way to get out of the uh, poison attack from Viper. So, because most offlaners, when you have to run away, like a timber saw against a Viper, terrible. <laughs> like when you try and waddle away with with the timber saw, and oh lord, we're gonna see a centaur war runner. I have seen him a few times in the amateur Dota 2 league tournament uh, last season, and it was very crazy. And with slaughter on your team, oh my goodness, this is gonna be a very very cool strategy. This is like the Slardar Pocket Strategy Handbook right now from Elite Arabs. If you want to really 
turn the screws on some teams with Slardar. This is a really good way to do it. I mean, that Dazzle AA Slardar trial lane, I have to say, was just, it was like, it was perfect. I mean, they didn't do a single thing wrong in lane. And now with Stampede as well. Ugh. This Crystal Maiden, I would. Be, this is a town I would abandon the game as Crystal Maiden. Oh wow, we're gonna see a Brewmaster, so that's so very cool. I imagine we'll see that Brewmaster mid, and the Viper in the safe lane. Or um, no, it's not possible. We'll see Nyx off lane, and then we we'll see a Viper support. What is going on? We'll see crazy things. This is crazy. All right, let me think. Hold on. It's like exam time. Could be off lane. I mean, Nyx is the only hero on 4 Love that they can safely offlane. And then they seem to have... Oh my gosh, they've got... It. This is weird. I don't know what they're going to do, to be honest. I am I am dumbfounded. Brewmaster's been seeing some play mid, so that's why I was... That's why I jumped on that bandwagon immediately. But we're going to find out together. We're going to all learn... All learn fun things. But we're going to go ahead and introduce the lineups here. We're going to see Always Want to Suck on that slaughter again. We're going to see... Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na
man. What we just saw there from Leon and always want to suck that glimpse into Sith Crush combination. I guarantee we are going to see that again and again and again this game. We'll see if 4 Love Inc. can make anything happen. Sith Crush going to get dropped on Thompson as well. Not going to make anything happen, though. I feel like that was a bit of a waste of mana. Do they have a Basilius Ring on the horizon here in this lane? Let's see, where's the Visage? No, nope. and then Disruptor. No, okay. So we'll see if Disruptor drops the clarity on that slaughter. That would be the smart thing to do here. And we see Crystal Mains actually in the jungle right now, stacking camps and just creeping the, the large creeps here. I really, really feel like the Crystal Main has to get in lane here. They just they need more lane presence. They can't afford to let the glimpse dive combina or the glimpse crush combination go to work. And we see a nice mana drain there on always wanna suck. He did get that clarity from Leon as I as I called earlier, so Thompson doing a nice job there to burn that off. Slaughter is a hero that requires a lot of mana early on, and he has a very, very garbage starting int. As we can see, he's a 16 intel right now at level 2, so his starting int is straight garbage. We see supports from EA trying to wrap around here. They're going to smoke, and it's going to be immediately broken, so that's, uh, that's awkward. A little awkward there. They were just too close to the... Uh, They were too close <laughs> to that Nyx Assassin, so that smoke got broken immediately, but they will be able to stay around in lane. Mine. And they were just playing so hyper-aggressive, and that's the way you must play with Slaughter. You can't afford to let minutes go by without getting kills. But they're making it happen. The Poly Jesus is just doing some neutral creeping still with Crystal Maiden, so... They're trying to, to get some levels on their Storm Spirit simultaneously while keeping him safe, but it's going to be a balance of how many times he gets killed. And he could, like, right there he could have gotten glimpsed and, and stomped on if, uh, if the Slaughter had had some mana. So he will be unable to play that aggressively for too long here. I'd really like to see... Yeah, there it is. There's going to be a Basie Ring. So Basil Ring of Basilius is so, so pivotal in this trial lane for them right now. And Nyx Assassin is going to be here to mana burn all day on Slaughter. That's all he needs to do. And if we can just take a look at the tone of the game, I mean, this time in the last game, there's the safe landing hero for 4 Love Dead, and it was still level 1, and Slaughter was 4. Now it's 3 and 3. And all it took was this Nyx Assassin sitting in lane, mana burning the Slaughter. Oh, we'll see an Electro Vortex catch the Slaughter out way out of position. And it's going to be 2 for 1 right now for 4 Love Dead. And we see Nepali G is going to come up as into the lane and secure that. We'll see if they have enough mana for an Impale. They do not. So there's going to be the Frostbite. Thompson's going to drop the Clarity on himself. Going to get glimpsed, but the Impale already secures the kill. Always almost like might be able to get an Apology Jesus here. There's going to be the Crush. He's going to go to work and just so much damage on that poor Crystal Maiden. There's the Grave Shield, so she's going to go down for sure. We'll see if Always Wanna Suck gets caught here, though. Oh, oh, he's already back in lane. But that will be fine. So it was a very nice rotation from Crystal Maiden. So it's t in total a two for two, I think. So not the greatest trade in the entire world, but you really just want to stop the snowballing. Slaughter is a snowball hero, so you really just have to get up there and kill him a couple times. And this Nyx Assassin on Thompson right now is playing very well. All he has to do is babysit the Storm Spirit. And since they're dual landing here, they will get some decent levels. Although it's pretty even between the supports and carries from both teams. Almost like drops the sprint. We'll see if he gets the stomp. He does, but it's a nice spiked carapace from Thompson. Glimpse on him, though. We'll see if he gets caught here. Stormfield's going to drop the Electric Vortex and always want to suck his Isolated. Now we'll see the Soul Assumption doing a lot of damage with that Wand. Oh, it doesn't do enough, though. Disruptor gets the kill on him. We'll see if Poe wants to go for more here. He doesn't. Doesn't have his ultimate. We'll see a Salve get dropped on always want to suck. So they're going to be able to stay in lane. So, a lot of action in this top lane. Try and bounce around the map here, see what's going on. Oh, gosh, Guy Complex is going to be in a lot of trouble here from Thompson. He's going to dive with this double damage room. Does he have enough? Get through. Creeps. Oh, my gosh. Refraction. It gets dropped from God Complex. He will bottle up as well, so he will want Thompson to, or Thompson to stay around and dive him here. Oh, Thompson's playing right into God Complex's hand right now, but he might be able to get him. He's got to right-click him a couple times before he can do that Thunderclap. He's going to Thunderclap, but it's not going to do anything. He drops the ultimate. Promo Spear is going to hit. There's the Stampede from Centaur as well. The refraction still going. There it finally breaks. I think God Complex might be going down here. Where's the stun from the Earth Spirit? Not going to happen. 
Fire Spear is going to be doing a lot of damage on other heroes, but that's not what he needs. The Earth Spear is going to come up onto the high ground. That's going to allow Topson to get out of here. Oh, that was close. One by one's actually teleported into the mid. So that will give Viper free farm. So things are going so much better for Arya 920 this game. He's almost got his mechanism, and we're six minutes into the game. Oh, no. I really want to take a look at the last hits here, but I don't want to miss any kills, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and sneak it out here. Oh, that's not what I want. Last hits nice. 33 and 5 for Viper. Leading the way. Slaughter is doing decently with 29 and 11. Or 29 and 7, rather. 29 and 11 for the TA. So TA is winning that lane mid, but the real story is Viper crushing this lane bottom. We see them... EA is both posturing down here if they, as if they want to go on him, but it's going to be very hard to get into his face. They do have that glimpse, though. And we see Disruptor maxing glimpse first. Very smart to do that. Uh, glimpse's range when you have it uh, as four stacks in the skill. Oh, gosh, we see a stun here on Arya 920. He will get Culling, Culling Blade as well. Or Culling Blade? Double edge. Silly. Viper Strike getting a kind of one-on-one. -on -one. As well as that Impale. We'll see the glimpse hit on Arya 920 that will actually help him. Get him into a position where he's able to kill that centaur more easily, but he might go down to a soul assumption, doing a lot of damage. Let's we'll see if the next can come around. He has no mana for Impale. RA920 is going to go down here. Did he buy? He did. He did buy. Nyx Assassin will go down as well, so it's a two for one, but... Could be even more here. The Viper's a big kill, but he had just finished his mechanism, so... He doesn't even care that he died there. And a seven-minute mechanism, that is one of the fastest mechs I've seen in a long time. See, God Complex is going to dive tops in here mid, but Nepali Jesus is rotated down. There's the Frostbite, going to do a lot of damage on the melt here. There's a Stampede, so Thompson will get caught out here a little bit. One more oh, misses from the uh, the Drunken Haze there, actually. So we'll see if Nepali Jesus can try and secure this kill. He doesn't have enough mana for anything, so God Complex will be able to bottle up safely and get another Refraction up, so that will be good for him. But we see a Salve on Thompson, so they could possibly go back in on him here. And Kristen Main's got enough mana for whatever spell she wants. So oh, looking for a Frostbite, not going to find it. So we'll see Brewmaster actually going for the bottle here, so that's a pretty interesting build. We'll see Arya920 going to jump on Batman here. One by ones here as well. Leon also teleports in. Ooh, that was tense. Wow, nice job there to animation cancel the hoof stomp to bait out the spiked carapace from Thompson. We see the Brewmaster's gotten that haste ring. He's going to wrap around here and drop the Thunderclap on Leanne. We'll see the, uh, the Grave Chill and the Soul Assumption going to drop on Batman. There's the Disruptor Ultimate, though, and the Kinetic Field doing a lot of damage. Zoning out Batman or uh, Arya as well. We'll see the Slaughter get caught in the Tornado. One by one's going to get dropped by Vendetta and a right click. He's going to go down. Batman will go down as well. It's a 3 for 0 for 4 love. And Brewmaster Ultimate has just expired. He wants more, though. Always want to suck. He's caught in a really rough spot there. There's the Thunderclap and the Impale from Nexus Assassin to get that kill. And that's a 4 for 0 for 4 love Int. My goodness, what a play that was. Just really, really found a rhythm there and found two heroes completely isolated. Disruptor Ultimate didn't hit on enough heroes. It did zone RA920's Viper quite a lot, but it didn't do enough damage where it needed to be done. top tower is under attack. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the net worth right now. It's going to be about that time. We see Viper actually in the lead, followed by followed closely by TA. So TA has been doing very nicely. Panda has sort of made up a lot of his um, ground just by getting being around for all those kills bottom just now, as did Storm Spirit. So we see Slaughter in the middle of the field right now. So this is sort of the opposite of what happened to him last game. Or not necessarily the opposite, but it's clearly much worse. I mean, this time last game, he was getting that Blink Dagger, and he's not even close this time around. So we'll see Guy Complex is going to get jumped on here by Thompson. Thompson going to come up as well, looking for a Vendetta hit. He's going to go on Leon. Impale only on one. He will be able to get that kill with the Crystal Maiden, though. Thompson's going to drop the Thunderclap on Guy Complex for a fraction from him. We'll see here Stampede as well. It's going to try and get him out of there. It's going to be able to... And now Thompson's really isolated. He really has to be careful. There's the Impale, but if he gets Soul Assumption or Stun, it's going to be so bad. He's going to survive, though. Now Thompson's going to get jumped on by the Bats. We'll see the Visage Sun on one, and then one again. So Batman's going to try and drop that Grave Chill. He does get it, but Impale on two from Thompson. Very nice play there. Nepali Jesus doing a lot of work, though, to just disable. Batman's going to get taken down by that Crystal Maiden, but God Complex gets a revenge kill. We'll see if he goes for more here. There's the Kinetic Field. Nepali Jesus is going to get taken down as well. 
So two for two there. But it does go in the favor of EA because T Templar Assassin was around for both of those. And now Topson's got that invisibility rune, so he'll be looking for somebody, but I don't think he will find them. Unless, of course, he runs into Leon here. Leon is trying to drop some wards. If he drops the center, though, he will see Topson coming. There's the observer. There's the center. He will find it out. There's the thunderclap. He will glimpse him away. But he has been hit by that drunken brawler. Oh, it's going to be so close. There's the kinetic field. He will die to some right clicks from the Viper, certainly. Uphill miss can't happen more than a million times. See, always want to going to get jumped on by Storm Spirit, actually, so he will get picked for nothing. In conjunction with the two supports there, 4-4 four, four, love that in. So they're really playing this one much better than the last game. Thompson's going to get or Thompson's going to get caught here. No, he isn't. He's actually going to drop the Primal Spirit Stampede as well. So one by one's actually in, in jeopardy now. They must try and get out of here. See, nice tornado from the Storm Spirit. Stomp's going to connect on all three pandas, though. Earth's, oh, the Earth Spirit is, of course, immune to magic, so he will be fine. We, I think that was a s tactical smoke from Crystal Maiden to escape. So you see it every day here. God Complex is going to drop the refraction. He's very late to the party. Thompson's going to be in pursuit now. The Impale blocked by that refraction, but and Thompson's going to take a lot of damage from those bats. We'll see. Ho oh, oh, going to come in here and try and get God Complex. They do, but Static Storm and Kinetic Field on three, so that's a very, very big ultimate from Disruptor, but it's not going to matter a whole lot. Always one of sucks trying to make something happen here, but he doesn't manage to make anything come of that. Now Leon's on the run, but the poison attack is going to be in effect. The kinetic field. Oh, very close there. Glimpse as well, but it's going to be too late. So I think that was a 4 for 1. 4 for 1, if I remember correctly, for 4 love.int. 9 or 8 to 19 is your score. So 4 love.int playing fantastically this game. They've really made adjustments against that Slardar. And this is sort of how most Slardar games I see and play go. I mean, Slardar just, when you don't get those first couple kills in that fast blink dagger, he is so hard to snowball, and then he's just, it's very hard to come from behind with him. See, God Complex blocking a great deal of damage there from Thompson's Nyx Assess, but Storm Spirit here as well. Poe is in on this action. Batman's also here. We're going to see if he drops that Soul Assumption. He really should. Oh, he's trying to not get caught out here, but he's going to get Impale on three. What an Impale from Thompson. They're going to be able to get out of here, I think. Oh, he's just going to get Soul Assumption, but Poe will live. Arya's teleported in as well, so they could go on Batman here, but one by one's going to come up and drop the stun. Nope, we got an animation to cancel that. Nicely done. We'll see one by one actually caught out in a lot of trouble now. Viper's so good against Centaur War Runner. We'll see Crystal Maiden running up to murder herself. Thompson, Thompson rather, is going to be here as well on this Panda. He will get glimpsed, and Leon's going to get taken down by right clicks from Arya. So strong on those Viper right clicks. God Complex is here. They know he's there. They're going to go ahead and drop that dust and get the kill on him once those refraction charges end. Ho oh, is actually quite low. The bats, the Visage bats get the kill. Oh, what a kill there for Visage. Very, very nice play with those bats. And Slaughter is the only one left alive. Four for three for full love. And they can really go for the tower here. And most importantly, the Brewmaster has survived. So he got a ton of gold from that engagement. We can see him sitting at 2k. He will likely be going for a Aghanim Scepter. I, I venture to say. Could be a BKB as well. Or even a Sanj. But I f really think it'll be that Aghanims. See, Thompson, or Thompson, oh, God, these guys are killing me with these names, but Thompson on the Nyx Assassin is going to be going on Always Want to Suck here, but Always Want to Suck is too smart for that. He will sprint away. So we'll go ahead and do a quick item check while there's a little bit of a lull here. We see TA's finished her drums. Nothing else coming out for EA. And there's an engagement here. Thompson's going to be in a lot of trouble. He is silenced in that static storm. God Complex doing a lot of damage on him. He tries to get his ult off, but he does. Oh, that was very, very close. We'll see if they try and kill these spirits here. They know he's at very low health. Batman's going to go down to Viper, but oh my gosh, full of that end is here in force. Ari 920 is here. Does he have the mech? It's going to go down. Doesn't get it off in time. One by one's going to be in a lot of trouble, though. We'll see the ultimate from Brewmaster, and he will go down to right clicks. Oh, that was very close. We'll see Thompson going to try and get out of here. God Complex and some Visage Bats in pursuit. There's the glimpse. We'll see if they Sith Crush. They do. So Thompson gets the kill there. Or Thompson goes down there. Two always want to suck. So nice combo with the glimpse and Sith Crush there, but... So that's a one for three. One for four, perhaps. One for three, I, I believe. In the favor of EA, so... That's the kind of engagement they want to take. It was a little greedy for 4 love. And to be... They sort of went in one by one. 
uh, and they sort of dove a tower that didn't really need to dive, so little bit uh, overly aggressive, I think. I, I'm not sure if they expected Always Want to Suck to be there. Oh gosh, see two TPs and the, uh, and the Ice Cube from all, or on Always Want to Suck. We'll see po oh also jumping on Leon. We'll see if he drops anything. No. Slaughter gets kills. That's two quick kills for them. I'm. That was a little bit of a delayed reaction time. As soon as you saw those two teleports, I would have thought that that would be time to hightail it from EA, but Radiance they really wanted to make that happen. We saw a nice play there from Poe Storms where he dropped that Null Talisman to use the Arcane Boots. Always smart. And Apology is going to grab that invisibility and possibly look for an initiation here. Oh gosh, but Thompson is standing right next to the center ward as is Nepali Jesus. This is so bad. Oh, if they counter gang, if EA counter gangs you, this could be a nightmare. Look at this. They know that there's two heroes around invisible. And they see that crystal main. Like when you see a crystal main that isolated, oh man. You rightly salivate. We see Thompson can actually initiate on Batman here. Poe is in the fight as well. He will drop that visage like a bad habit. We'll see if they want to go for more here. This tower is going to be in a great deal of jeopardy. We hear the storm spirit. Where is he? Uh, uh. He's retreating. Okay. Trying to follow all these silly jumping around heroes with their mobility. We'll see Thompson going to go high ground here. He will try and. Get an impale initiation, I believe. Is full of that do they really want to try and push this? I feel like they can. Yeah, they're gonna TP back here. Oh, always want to suck's gonna actually uh, get tricked by that TP cancel from Topson, and he will be going for that Agonum Scepter, of course. See, I don't think Full Love Dot have to push this tier two. They can. I feel like they can afford to go for tier ones here. Slaughter's gonna be on the run though. He has no teleport scroll, and he's so close to his blink dagger. Oh, this is so bad. He's gonna juke into trees, but they know he's here. Two teleports in three. This is exactly the kind of reaction they need. We're gonna hear that stampede come in. They're looking for Arya right now. They're not gonna get him with one stun. They're gonna get him with a double edge though. We'll see if they can get him. There's the viper strike gets dropped, but Arya 920 is in a huge amount of trouble here. He's got a lot of damage on Leon. There's the mechanism, and this is why Viper is so good with mech. He gets the revenge kill. Are you kidding me? I don't think there's another hero in the game that would have gotten that revenge kill except Viper with the mechanism. Oh, but that was so close. That's Slardar. You better thank your team, buddy. That was so close. That would have cost him his blink dagger for another four minutes at least. Oh, that was dangerous. So he will have that blink dagger from the side chat there. So now things are looking very nice for EA. They have a bit of a window here where they can make stuff happen. Viper is dead. They will look to push here. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Bats moving into position to spot. But we see Poe is just pushing and he's got a bloodstone, so we can go ahead and spam a lot of abilities to clear out those creep waves. We'll see one teleport back from Visage just to, to push him away. And the rest of EA will have to uh, reallocate themselves elsewhere. And uh, do we have a Centaur Warrunner going for that mechanism? We do. So Centaur's sorting it isn't very good either, but support Centaur is, is quite good. So I'm a little surprised to see uh, them not go for the Visage mechanism, but they have that Medallion of Courage on him. So Evidently, they think that Centaur is a good mech carrier, and I'm sure he is. Um, I, I don't have a whole lot of experience with Centaur mech myself. I don't have a whole lot of experience in competitive play with Centaur in the <laughs> period. I mean, you don't see him a whole lot, but Stampede is actually very good. So He's sort of a pocket strike hero for sure, um, and Slardar is sort of a pocket strike hero as well. So We're seeing it happen here in the Amateur Dota 2 League. Stampede is what, there's a kinetic field and a static storm, huge amount of damage coming out. Oh my gosh, that's a very fast 0 for 2 right now for EA, so a very perfect initiation from them. Batman's going to jump on Arya here, there's the glimpse, going to send him back, he's going to try and TP, but the Sith Crush will interrupt that. So that's a 3 for 0, and that is the kind of fight they really want to take. Stampede into that perfect Disruptor Ultimate from Leon, very nice play. Poe could jump on God Complex here, we see the TA with very little mana. Poe is just trying to get that tower chipped away at, but he's not going to be able Dyer's to do it. And that tier 1 top will going to have to float in. There goes Poe. He's going to jump in on here. Does he have the Electro Vortex? Oh, he's taking Dyer's so much damage from God Complex. He will have to back out of that. Oh, man. Refraction is a good spell. You 
So that was a very, very good team fight for EA. If we take a look at the golden XP graphs, we see a very large upswing there on the order of 4,000 XP and around 2,500 gold. So very, very strong from them. If they have another team fight like that, then we have a game. Nyx Assassin has finished his Blink Dagger. That's probably a good reason to go ahead and check the items for both teams. We see the Blink Dagger on Slaughter and those Power Treads. So it is 21 minutes now, and he is... Always want to suck is where he was at about minute eight in the first game. It's not the not the greatest start for him compared to last time. We see Visage going for that Aghanims next. He does have that point booster. We see Templar Assassin rocking a Yasha. Going to be going for an Ogre Club as well. I imagine that'll be for a BKB, not the Sanjin Yasha. Centaur's just got that mechanism, and then Disruptor's got nothing except Arcane Boots. So, oh gosh, seeing Pale on Batman right now. Mana Burn as well. Stormtrooper's going to jump in here and drop the Electric Vortex. So Batman's going to be in a huge amount of trouble. There's a Stampede though, as well as a Sith Crush. We'll see the Hoof Stomp to follow from one by one. Oh, Poe's in a huge amount of trouble here. There's the Disruptor Ultimate as well. He actually kills himself, so nice play there. Thompson's going to be in trouble as well, though. They're still going on Batman. They got Tunnel Vision like crazy. We see Thompson trying to get him with a stomp there. Not going to get him, though. See TA isolated now. He's got a haste rune, though, so he'll be able to get out. And there's the, kin there's the kinetic field to stop anybody from pursuing. So two for one there. Another fight goes EA's way. Very, very solid initiation from the Blink on the Slaughter, followed by the Hoof Stomp Stampede. Just got everybody in position so rapidly, and uh, it looks like Four Love it sort of got tunnel visioned on that Batman visage. Just trying to get that kill. He was so very low. So we'll see Aria920 finishing up that Aghanim Scepter. That's a very good item to have. We'll see an Aghanim's on Brewmaster as well. Crystal Maiden's got that Ghost Scepter just to keep her safe from Slardar. See the Bloodstone on Storm Spirit as well, and a Blink Dagger on Nyx. So things are going pretty decently for both teams right now. The beginning of the game could not have gone worse for EA, but they've really made a mid-game that's uh, that's definitely defensible for them. We'll see a five-man smoke is going to be broken out by Thompson. If they have a smoke or detection, do you have it? There it is. Going to hit the crush on Thompson. Oh, they don't. They actually don't have detection. There's the sentry ward. Going to finally spot him out. Impale on four. So that's going to be a, a solid effort there from Thompson, but it's not going to be enough to save him. So. Smoke gank is successful Radiance in a roundabout way for Elite Arabs, so they will go ahead and try and push, or they're going to go ahead and take Roshan here with that amplified damage from Always Wanna Sucks. This is the same thing they did last game. Do they have a medallion on Visage as well? Yes, they do. So this, uh, we see minus 26 armor on Roshan's. We see how fast he drops. Stormtrooper's going to come in and snatch it, though. What a play, Poe. Oh, what a play to snatch that Aegis. Are you kidding me? What a play. He absolutely at the last possible second came in there and snatched that brilliant play from him. So, Oh, that's frustrating if you're elite Arabs. Quick in and out. Made that look so simple. And that is, that is not easy to do, let me tell you. CEA going to try and take a tower here in revenge. But now, uh, for love to have the Aegis, we'll see... The Stun on Leon there, the Stampede to follow. So much Disruptor damage is going to head on too, though. A lot of damage going to come up from that. We'll see the Crystal Maiden Ultimate going out as well. One by one's going to be in trouble. Storm is going to jump in on here and God Accomplice. It's an over three right now for EA. It's a total disaster for them. Batman's going to go down as well, almost certainly. God Accomplice is going to try and sneak out of here with that invisibility room, but it's a zero for four. Almost a team wipe for EA, so that could not have gone worse for them. They think TA's still around here, though. They don't know that she had the invisibility rune, so we'll see how much mana they waste here. Three Storm Spirit <laughs> static illusions. Or uh, static remnants, rather. Four. So they're finally going to realize that she is long gone, so that's one for the uh, fails of the week highlight reel. But man, what a phenomenal team fight from them. That was absolutely brilliant. And we'll see uh, Brewmaster going to pick up a Blink Dagger here. Blink Dagger is very, very good on Brewmaster. You can Thunderclap so, so nicely. It's very much like a, a Slardar would, would be played. He is almost level 16, so those, those pandas will get better and better. Radiance top tower is under attack. So if we're loving to enter, going to push in here, but I think that would be a bit of a mistake. Always Wanna Suck's going to get an initiation. They swap places here. Thompson blinks up and gets Leon, but Always Wanna Suck's really isolated here. He might even go down. He's going to try and escape. Stampede from one by one. That will slow everybody up. Batman's going to jump up, and it's a little over eager from him. He will probably get caught out of position here. There's a few more right clicks from Viper's going to take him down, but always looks like Blink's back in. He is solo. That was so very dangerous. Poe is on it, though. He smells it, and Slaughter's going to go down here. Almost certainly he does. So 
to one for three right now. Net Batman's going to be in trouble as well. Thompson's going to be taking a lot of damage from those bats, though, but now Poe's in trouble. God Complex trying to escape it, but they have a lot of disable on this TA. The Aegis goes down, but I think they'll get that TA. They certainly will. Thompson's going to retreat there from the bats, so it's a one for five plus Aegis. Or five for one plus Aegis, rather. So another team wipe from EA. They, oh, they look so good. They look so crisp two minutes ago. And then that A just got snatched and the wind was totally taken out of their sails. And they got absolutely murked in the last two team fights. Let's take a look at the golden XP. We see this like glimpse of hope and then reality hits. We see Storm Stewart diving in on Leon as well. Panda's going to drop his ultimate as well. So another kill for them. And they'll be able to take at least that tower there. I don't think Slaughter will be able to make a play here. I'm sure he will try though. Always one of going to drop the sprint. Where's the blink? Going to drop the amplified damage. He will get thrown up in the air by that storm spirit. Stampede to fall. They really want to chase this. Batman's going to look for a grave shield. He will find it on the Poly Jesus, but the Crystal Maid is not a big deal for them. The amplified damage will just look at how much damage those Reiklings will start doing. There's that. Uh, Ghost Scepter plus ultimate from Crystal Maiden, but it was really just for show. She knew she was dead, so it slows up everybody and allows the rest of her team to survive. I mean, I actually see Thompson want to counter-initiate here a little bit, but I don't think he'll be able to. Even though the tower is down, I don't think anybody will be so... so blind as to get caught out by a Nyx like this. He will have to retreat. So Arya 920's almost got her BKB, which, is, which will be very, very good. Referring to Arya 920 as a her, obviously because of the Game of Thrones connotation. Um, I don't know the gender of the, of the player, so I, I mix and match. You know how it goes. Uh, so we'll see a lot of BKB is going to be coming down in the next couple minutes here. We see one on Stormfield already complete. We'll see who Nyx Assassin going to blink out of there. But even if he had blinked out of there, all you have to do is have sight on your target, and uh, Leon's Disruptor will be able to glimpse. I mean, just look at the glimpse range here. You can barely even see it on my screen. Like, it's all the way over here. Look at how large that is. It's huge. You can pretty much glimpse someone before they're even on the screen. It's very, very good. Let's see Thompson going to Vendetta again. Sto oh my gosh, what timing on that on that sentry ward. Are you serious? The next assassin will get murdered. Oh man, Glimpse gonna get dropped on RA920 as well. There's a trap as to follow. We'll see the Stampede as well. Kinetic Field gets dropped. RA920 is in a huge amount of trouble. He will go down. I don't know what Tops Topson is doing there. Get out of there, bro. I guess he's got that haste rune, so he feels a little bit strong, but with the hoof stomp, Sith Crush, if you get stunned once, you're stunned forever. We'll see Topson even contesting this invisibility rune, so. But it's warded. They saw him up there, so there's the glimpse. There's the, the Sith Crush and the Disruptor Ultimate as well. They really want Thompson here, and they're going to get him. So that's a. Th th those are three picks in quick succession for EA. So really, really rough time to for FL. End. We'll see another uptick there. So game isn't over yet for EA. They really want to try and make this happen. They're getting a lot of picks, but the Stormtrooper is getting decent farm. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to bring this them back into this one. We see Brewmaster has an Oblivion staff here. I hazard a guess to think that this is for a Refresher Orb. See so the Glyph get dropped, but Thompson's in trouble there. There's a Stormsuit's going to jump in on one by one here. He's got his BKB, so he can sort of do what he wants, but he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Disruptor's going to go down. Ho oh, is still in the mix here. Thompson's going to be in as well. Nice impale. We see Batman in trouble as well. It's a one for two right now, or one for three for zero. Three for one now. God Complex going to be on the run. Always want to suck. Looking for initiation. Will he find it? Oh, it's so close. It's so tense. And God Complex has another invisibility rune. Do they think he's still there? Oh, that would be bad. Please don't stun the creeps. Okay, they... Oh, uh, maybe. I think that was just for some last hits. Okay, they know he's gone. Whew. So I think, uh... Thompson... Thompson rather, or Thompson and Thompson are both perturbed, uh, evidently thinking that there's some kind of a bug involved. And God Complex will put them in their place, and they're sorry, as they you should be. Don't bad manner in tournament games. So Thompson will look to try and find an initiation here. He will not find one, though. Just spamming that vendetta. Really smart to do 
Uh, Vendetta's cooldown when you get high ranks of it is 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 not long at all. So. Going to do an item check here. Where there's a little bit of a lull in the action, so I'm, I really want to know if this is for, this Oblivion staff is for a refresh orb on Topson's Brewmaster. Uh, but nothing coming out just yet from the rest of For Love That Ant. That Ogre Club going to be a BKB shortly, of course, for RE920. But I'm not sure if she's going to have it before the next team fight. Disruptor still just nothing, man. Just a whole lot of support. Lots of support. He's got that salve still. Going to be really pivotal past the 30 minute mark. Um, Centaur's going to be probably looking for a Blink Dagger here. Yeah, that's probably what he's going for. Uh, TA's actually finished a Manta style up, so that's a very, very nice farm on her. And then Slaughter's just got his BKB. So let's go ahead and take a look at the net worth here. So it's anyone's game, as you can see. Slight advantage to 4Love.int, and they're going to smoke here. Five-man smoke. Let's see if they can make anything happen. They will crash to the opponent's jungle, but the opponents have the same idea as they have smoked as well, so... This is going to be pretty awkward, both teams getting the idea to smoke up. It looks like EA wants to try and take that mid-tower. For love that going to wheel around through the jungle here and not find a soul. They will see God Complex mid, though. They could jump on that. Ooh, Po'o is looking to do that. Oh, if he does that, it's so dangerous. Smoke has expired, though. This could be a huge team fight. We'll see Nepali. Jesus is going to find Leon as well. There's an impale on one. Two different fights going on right now. Poe is going to jump out of there. Everybody's popping their BKB. Thompson's going to get a lot of heroes with that with that um, spike hero base. Rather, Poe is going to go down to meld though. We'll see the Brewmaster ultimate's going. Always one of us going to try and get something done. The Stormspirit will put him up in the air though. God Complex going to get caught up by a stone. Poe is back from buyback. He teleported straight back into here. Napoli Jesus gets a double kill. So Viper Strike's going to follow on. Always one of us and Thompson's going to go for more. He gets the kill frame. So it's a team wipe for uh, for one plus buyback for four love dot Another fantastic engagement for them. That was very awkward. The best, I think the biggest thing that happened there, though, was Thompson on this Nyx Assassin got a spike carapace that managed to hit absolutely everybody. I don't know what he ran into, uh, but, man, everybody got stunned for 2.4 seconds on that spiked carapace, and that's why they won that team fight so, so handily. By the time they all came out of that, Napoli Jesus had been dropping that crystal or the freezing field for so long that it was just it was too late to do anything. So that will be one set of racks, maybe more, if for Love Dot can be hasty about it here. Do they have a drum? No, they don't have a drum. And they will go for this I feel like they can go for mid tower here and then they have to back off. They can both both bot racks in the mid tower and then they'll back, I believe. Let's see if they agree with me. Ooh, they want to work the racks a little bit, but there they go. Thinking w wiser of themselves, getting out of there safely. 11 Bloodstorm charges on that storm sphere. Oh, we see a long-range glimpse on Thompson, but Poe is already back in the fight. Leon's going to get caught out here. There's a stampede from one by one. We'll see if they can get anything done here. Thompson's going to go down. So one for one there. So that was a very, very interesting engagement there. Nick's assassin got glimpsed, and storm spirit said, I'm coming back for you, buddy. Oh, that was weird. And that just shows you how long that glimpse range is. I mean, Nick's assassin was long gone. But the sentry or this observer ward right here gave them that vision all the way over here, which is I mean, this is where Nick's assassin like was pretty much, so that might even free up a Roshan for EA here. I think for Love didn't know about this. We'll see if they can come and contest this again. We see Roshan going down so quickly. Thompson's gonna be in here though. He drops the crush. Does he get his ultimate off? He's gonna be so close here, stunning. Gonna get chained, stunning, and taken down, so he's gonna go down for nothing. Ari 920s here as well, but they must run. You see Templar Assassin's got the Aegis, Ari 920's gonna get caught out. The mech won't even save him. No more. Gems on the deck, in fact, so a, a large blunder there from, from Ari 920. You really don't want to give up the gem like that. I don't even think they got anything out of that gem. Perhaps they were sick and tired of God Complex's invisible TA running away from them, but... Don't want to fumble the gem that quickly. So, EA will take will take a tower for this certainly, and they're gonna smoke immediately. This is so very smart from them. As soon as you take an advantage, your opponents think you've backed off, but you're on the hunt again. We'll see if Thompson can get out of here. He can't. He surely doesn't smell this coming. There's the blink from Always Wanna Suck. 
There's the kinetic field as well. He won't be able to blink out of this one alive. There's the, the uh, spike hair base and impale on two, which is a nice play, but not going to be enough. Oh, it's one of going to get caught out, though. There's the Destroker ultimate. BKB threw it from Poe, though. He's going to look to go on. Always want to suck some more. There's the gem on the deck again, but it will be picked up, I believe, by his teammates. Nobody's got it just yet, actually. Tom's actually going to get the kill there on Disruptor, so they could look to go for more here. And now Nyx Assassin has the gem. they got to try and kill him. God Complex is already on it, though. He's looking to bring him down. We see another kill from Crystal Maiden, so... Templar Assassin will be able to take down the next Assassin, drop the bottle, and start to get on the run here. One by one's going to be in here as well. There's a stomp on Topson. We'll see if God Complex can survive. He doesn't have an invisibility room, but he does have that Ages of the Immortal. And they do they have do they not have True Sight? Are you serious? They don't, but they they know he's here. Oh gosh, is he God Complex going to open up on Poe? Oh, there's the Ages going to go down. Visage bats are here creeping though. They're going to try and stun this. Oh, it's going to be very close. Where's the stun? So there's a stun on one. Doesn't really do a whole lot though. God complex is going to be melded. His teammate his teammates are so long dead. They I mean there's no way they're they're gonna be able to come up here and, and save him, surely. God complex will hasten his own demise. I feel like his best strategy would just be not do anything and just make for love that and think that he's left. He will he will voice his frustration. Tanking a lot of AoE damage right now. This is com where's the Benny Hill music for this one? This is ridiculous. He's just popping so many refraction charges. So, I mean, this is wasting so much time. Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. They have so little AoE. There's a Sentry Ward. Finally, what a comical <laughs> engagement that was. So Storm Spirit will finally get that kill. They worked harder for that than I think I've ever seen anybody work for a Templar Assassin kill. But more interestingly than that, we see Refresher Orb and Aghanim Scepter on Brewmaster. So he will have two pandas, or two sets of Primal Spirits to drop, rather. So that will be interesting. Centaur has finished his blink there, and we see an Aghanim Scepter on Crystal Maiden. That's pretty interesting. We see Tops is going to jump on one by one here. Po'o is in it as well as Thompson. So there's the Impale, going to stack that stun up nicely. One by one is going to go down here. Very easy kill for them. So two heroes dead, four EA right now. And this might be the set of racks. 4 4 love that int. TA is going to buy back into the game, but I'm not even sure if that's going to be enough. With no tower here and no sentry. See Poe get a sheepstick as well. He is ripped right now. He's got so much, so much cash. See Visage going to buy a gem of true side as well, so I believe both sides will be gemmed up. Nice. See, I think. Who's got the. Viper's got the gem? No. Forget about that, though. We'll see God Complex get jumped on by Poho, who will get absolutely blown up by that Disruptor Ultimate and Batman. We'll see Topson's going to get in a lot of trouble here. He's going to try and escape. One by one's going to get the kill on him, though. RA920 is in the mix as well. Viper Strike going to get dropped down one by one. Slaughter's up in the air. He'll get dropped down. Go to work on some of those pandas. Gematrix out on the deck. Brewmaster is killed. All of his spirits went down. RA920 is going to go down as well. So much damage from those bats. That Aghanim Scepter. Boosting the damage of those familiars so very much. It's a 4 for 2. So EA holds, but they lose... Oh, they didn't lose the Rax. I thought they lost the Rax there. So a very nice hold from them, and that Disruptor Ultimate was right on time. They will lose that top tier 2 for it, though. But I don't think that matters too much to them. They're just trying to hold their base down right now, and I believe EA has both gems now. That's so one on Visage and one on Slaughter. So they have two gems, probably to drop one of those in the fountain. As they have heroes that are vulnerable to gem carrying. So let's go ahead and check items here. This is going to be sort of crunch time for both teams. We see Templar Assassin is going to be going for that Daedalus just as soon as she can. Decently geared, though. Uh, we'll see Slardar's not really finish anything else, but you don't really need a whole lot more than this on Slardar. Visage has gotten that, that uh, Aghanim Scepter, which is so very crucial. Disruptor, though, still with nothing. <laughs> Just a hard, hard day if you're the Disruptor. Viper's got that Aghanim Scepter and a decent amount of cash saved up for buyback. Crystal Maiden's got a Force and an Ag... I don't know how Crystal Maiden got the cash for this Aghanim Scepter. With all the warding that you have to do as Crystal Maiden, so that's a real surprise. Um, Brewmaster's obviously got that refresher Aghanim, so unfortunately, he all of his spirits were killed in the last engagement, so he was unable to use that refresher orb. So it's a big, a big loss for him. We'll see Thompson gonna get caught out here by everybody from EA. 
So they've just had True Sight all over the map for that poor Nyx Assassin. Um, Storm Spirit is so well geared, though. He's got Blink, or not uh, Blink. Of course, he has Natural Blink. He has Sheepstick, BKB, and Bloodstone. Of course. And then Nyx Assassin's got this Yasha, probably just for movement speed. Um, I don't really know what he'll be building that up into. Little surprised to see that, to be honest. So EA is sort of posturing like they want to try and take a tower here. They do have a trap up in Roshan, so they will see him when he spawns. I'm just not sure if they're going to be able to take high ground here on for Love.Nand. They will try, though. Always want to suck, so we're going to look to see him blink in here. Viper Strike's going to connect with him, so he'll be unable to blink. po -Oh and Always want to suck, pop their BKBs, and po -Oh is in way behind enemy lines. We see the Disruptor Ultimate not going to hit on anybody, though. Always one of the Sucks going to go down for virtually nothing, as well as the Disruptor. One by one's in the mix as well. Po'o is still alive, though. I don't know how he survived so long in the position he was in. Oh, and Thompson almost got killed there by those Visage Bats. Gems on the deck for 4 Love. And if they so choose, Viper will pick it up. He is a fantastic carrier for that, as he is so hard to kill. So I believe that 4Love.in will be able to push down here and take these racks. We have to check the buyback status for EA. Not a single buyback. Okay. Oh wait, I'm wrong. TA? TA? Who's TA? Nope. No buyback on TA, but she is not even dead, so it doesn't really matter all that much. So that's unfortunate for EA. Teleport Assassin will get that Daedalus, though. But I don't think that's going to stop this five-man march from 4Love. And they will go ahead and take this mid-rax. Glyph comes up, but it's not going to be enough. Disruptor's alive, but he doesn't have his ultimate. And this is really smart. They've at 4 love that have allocated two heroes to taking out these racks. And they're actually going to get a picker on God Complex. Oh, this is so greedy from them. Let's see, Thompson's going to drop his ultimate as well as that Refresher Orb. We'll see them try and go in here. This is, could be a huge mistake, though, if those racks don't go down. Always one of sucks in the mix. Brewmaster's gone down. This is so bad for them. It's a two for zero right now, and those racks still are still alive. What are they doing? Oh, no. And Aria 920 is still always oh, going to get bashed to the BKB. you got to be kidding me. That could not have been worse for 4Love.Ant. Viper Strike's going to hit. Always want to suck. Nice dodge on that Sith Crush from Aria, but he will get hit by the Hostom from one by one. I'm not sure if 1x1 could kill him, though. Oh, I don't know. Aria 920 should just back out here. He's really greedy to stay there, and he's going to suffer for it. Oh, that was so bad. I mean, 4 for 0, but are you serious? po -Oh's in the base. Are you kidding me? EA's got to be kicking themselves so hard right now to let something like that happen. The creeps are still in the base. Those racks were not backdoor protected. And a huge blunder from 4Love that in to not kill that barracks. Turns into a huge blunder from EA to not defend them getting tunnel visioned on those on those kills. Oh, that was so, so strange. I can't believe that 4 loveint dove into into this area. I mean, this is this is so dangerous. I mean, as soon as you get back anywhere in anywhere in like this area, it is so hard to so hard to fight. I mean, if you tank that tower, obviously this tower was dead, but in this area, you tank ta three different tower hits. I mean, it's so hard to get kills and so hard to stay alive in that area. Man, I really if 4 Love Dot had just focused those racks and gotten out, that would have been so much better. But they thought they could get a pick there on that uh, on that Templar Assassin on God Complex, but they were unable to do that thanks to Refraction. Looks like 4 Love think that EA is Roshan, but Roshan isn't even up yet. But they can afford to take some time now. Up two racks. Things are, things are looking pretty good. We'll take a look at the Golden XP. Yeah, we see a large advantage for 4 Love. And although that last engagement was just horrible. We see like 10,000 gold XP. Or 10,000 XP, rather, given straight back to EA. But 4 Love will smoke up here. Thompson's going to Vendetta first, so they get some decent scouting. He will not be revealed, even if the smoke breaks, of course, with that Vendetta. So they will spot out God Complex here. Poe is going to jump on him. We'll see an Impale on one. Batman's going to get jumped on by the Brewmaster, though. We'll see if they can get him. It's a weird team fight right now. Disruptor Ultimate's going to hit on one. God Complex here as well. Poe is back in the fight. He's going to be jumping in and out. Leon's going to take a lot of damage. Arya's here as well. It's a zero for one right now. 
Always one of the stocks is going to get cut out a little bit. God Complex tanking a lot of damage from that Crystal Maiden ultimate. Crystal Maiden is getting a full channel off on that Freezing Field. Po'o is still in the fight right now. There's the Glimpse going to send him back. He'll be low on mana here. God Complex will go down. though. It's a one for four. Two buybacks immediately from EA. They're going to try and jump right back into this one. But Topson is at full health right now. And the Poly Jesus is still in the mix. So that was four buybacks now from EA. So many just came out. So everybody and their brother will buy back, and Roshan is up, but there's a trap in here. If EA spots this out, and they can jump for Love Dot in, in the pit, that could turn the game around for them. They must have someone defending the base, though, as these two waves, or these two lanes will push up, and you don't want to be taking a lot of damage on your tier fours, and we see the bottom lane is already eradicated of all the, uh, of all the buildings there that can soak up damage. Always one of the sucks going to catch out in a poly Jesus here. So Poe is going to blink right up on the high ground now. We'll see RA920 is going to start on always one of the suck, but he's going to be in a rough position. A lot of damage. Thompson's going to be in here as well. He's dropped his ultimate. Batman's going to be caught out as well. A lot of damage going down. So the, All the heroes are so tanky, though. They're so very strong. Always one of the sucks is going to get a kill on the RA920. Poe is going to get a kill as well. But God Complex is still ripping through Poe. Look at how much damage God Complex is doing. And the bats go to work as well. So very awkward fight right now. Viper's bought back into the game. Guy Complex will meld. They will know he's here though. So he will go down to the freezing field. And now the, now the Ancient for EA is under attack. Oh, Leon must defend the base right now. And that's so bad because they want to have that Disruptor in the mix for their team fights. I would really like to see that Centaur just defending the base and Leon out on the map, of course, for the team fights. And I'm sure that's what they will do. Obviously it's unsafe right now. See if the bats can get in there and deny the Aegis. Nope, so I'm sure it's going to get it. So Po'o is really, really playing a fantastic Storm Spirit, let me just say. I mean, both teams are playing very well right now. It's a great game. Uh, but man, Po'o is just always in the mix. Whenever one of his teammates gets caught out, he is right there with that ball lightning. Oh, but right now Thompson's behind enemy lines in the base. Leon's in so much trouble. There's the Impale after the Vendetta hit, so he will go down for nothing, and that will probably be the end of EA here, I dare say. Four heroes down. Don't believe they have any buybacks. Nope. There's going to be the GG from Always Wanna Suck. Very, very nice game from both teams. Strong Storm Shirt play from Po'o. Whew, that was a good one. 69 to 46, the final score. Just a really, really strong game. I think we saw sort of a soft counter to that Slardar tri-lane with the Nyx Assassin. Really good with the mana burn early on in the game. And then the Brewmaster just really found a lot of farm. Sort of an unorthodox build with him with that Aghanim's Refresher. Uh, but it's, it certainly worked. He always had Primal Spirit ready for those team fights just when you really need it. Um, and the Slardar just didn't snowball hard enough for EA. So we'll see if either team can make adjustments in the next game. There I am. Uh, so we'll see. Now we're going to go to the rubber match in this best of three series, actually, between Elite Arabs and 4Love.int in the Amateur Dota 2 League European Premier League. Did I say Premier League already? Whatever. It's all good. I'm, I'm losing myself in uh, in bliss here. So.